peace. Today's video is one great. Now, when I was a kid, I watched Hee Haw. That was one of my choice, but you know, my parents loved it and I watched it with them. Every time after supper, around 8 or 9 o'clock, it would come on Saturday, I think it's Saturday night. I have to go back and look. But we would go and watch it. Of course, you've seen a lot of like Roy Orbison and some other stars, including they would have also special guests such as country singers. But there was one that's very here in Erlanger, Kentucky. He was born in Florence. His name is Kenneth James Price, or they call him Kenny. So we're going to visit his grave real quick and talk about it. Let's go over and take a look. Now, as you can see, that's the entrance coming in. The mausoleum. You can walk this way, straight across. There's a big tree right here. And there's a couple of trees now. Right here, this red, white, and blue flower is turned over. This is where he lays the rest. James Kenneth Price, Corporal U.S. Army, Korea, May 27, 1931, passed away August 4, 1987. I was, I was young. Let's put this back up here. Hold on. I ain't probably won't stay up. Won't, won't stay up. Let's try to see if we can get to stay up. James Kenneth Price was an American country music singer, songwriter, and actor. Nicknamed the Round Mound of Sound, Price recorded for the Boone and RCA Victor MRC and Dimension record labels, charting 34 singles on the Hot Country Songs chart between 1966 and 1980. His highest peaking singles, Walking on New Grass and Happy Tracks, both reached number 7 on that chart. Price was born in Florence, Kentucky in the United States and was raised on a farm in Boone County, Kentucky. He learned to play guitar when he was just five years old. From 1952 until 1954, Price served in the U.S. Army during the Korean War, reaching the rank of corporal. While stationed in Korea, he auditioned for the USO show and before being discharged, he had decided to become a professional magician. He studied for a brief time at the Cincinnati College Conservatory of Music and became a musician on Midwestern Hayride on WLWT, eventually taking over as the show's host until it went off the air in the early 1970s. He first recorded for Boone Records, then moved on to RCA Records in 1969, where he stayed until 1976. For most of his career, Price worked with Ray Pennington whose style complemented his own. Price had 34 single charts in his career, including Walking on the New Grass, a top 10 in 1966, Happy Tracks, Northeast Arkansas, Mississippi County Bootlegger, a top 20 hit in 1969, and Sheriff of Boone County, which hit the country top 10. A 1970 novelty song he co-wrote with producer Ronnie Light, a B-size single called The Shortest Song in the World, which clocked in at the mere 18 seconds long, enjoyed some airplay in 1970. Standing at 6'6 and weighing nearly 300 pounds for most of his professional career, he was nicknamed the Round Mound of Sound and wrote a song in the same name in 1968. Many of his comedic songs were a reference to his size. The heavyweight is an obvious example. In later years, Price became significantly thinner and lampooned him himself in the song The Boone County Weight Watchers of America. In 1975, Price relocated to Nashville and after a few uncredited appearances, became a regular on Hee Haw. He remained with the show until his death. He served as the bass vocalist for the Hee Haw Gospel Quartet, which included Grandpa Jones, Buck Owens, and Roy Clark. Price and fellow Hee Haw cast member Lulu Rowan got their own short-lived spin-off series called Hee Haw Honeys, which ran from 1978 till 1979. Price and Roman guest starred on two episodes of Love Boat. He later had a small role in the film Cold Justice, which was released after his death. His wife, Donna Price, wrote a few more memorable tunes for him, including the hit Let's Truck Together, which was used in the late 1970s Hee Haw skit. In the mid-1980s, Kenny and Donna starred in the National Network, now Paramount Network, travelogue series called Wish You Were Here, 
where they travel across the United States in an RV and visit places of interest. Price died of a heart attack in Florence, Kentucky at the age of 56. So he was 56 when he passed away. 1987, whoa. Uh, so I guess the Hee Haw show started around the 70s. I thought it was the late 60s. I mean, I, this is a nice cemetery. I'm going to come back to film this one day. But right now, this is about him. And yeah, when I was a kid, uh, I, I watched Hee Haw. I barely have any memories. But if I watch the show, I probably remember a few things. But I'm 49 myself, so yeah, I'm getting up there so it's hard for me to remember but anyway that's the grave of Kenny Price it's a quick video but with that I'll leave here rest in peace to James Kenneth Price Kenny Price from the Hee Haw thing and I'll see you on the next video so take care of yourself take care of your loved ones